I just finished watching the movie Once Upon a Deadpool. I wanted to do a review of it, but instead I ended up with a more difficult task than reviewing the re-release of a movie that I had already seen before, slightly cut, with additional Fred Savage bits just to make it PG-13. I discovered what life was like without Stanley and how much I miss him. Let me start at the beginning. During Wreck-It Ralph 2, I won't say the other name, Ralph whatever the internet, there's a slight scene where you see a Stanley who's out the internet and you're like, oh, Stan. But then I was watching the video about Miles Morales Spider-Man, Spider-Man into the, into the Spider-Verse, and he had a speaking role. And the speaking role, it, it was unexpected, and you're like, okay, I'm good. And you're like, oh, okay. And then I saw Deadpool 2, Once Upon a Deadpool. And there's this graffiti that said, just, they edited it or updated it to say RIP, Stan, uh, and it was like picture Stanley and all that on the side of a building. And you're like, they must have rushed that right into there. But then at the very ending, you see Stan Lee and that cameo he did in the trailer. But it's like a bunch of like background scenes with him. And I wasn't expecting it to hit me hard. And it did. And I never met Stanley. Um, I loved his cameos and like Ball Rats. And oh my God, I'm reading comic books right now. And uh, just from like quarter, the quarter bin with all these Stan soap boxes. You know, every single comic book with a Stan soap box where people would ask him. How long does it take to make a comic book? And so it was on the mind when I went in, I guess, to put it to the back of my mind. And then I saw that and I just wasn't ready for that. It's like I was warmed up this and they have like an entire little segment. They have him talking as Stanley, not a cameo character. And he's talking about him after his death and how he doesn't, you know, he hopes people think that he made some pretty good stories and that's about it. He, you know, I mean, because I mean, after he dies, it doesn't really matter, I guess, to him. And I just, uh, I just was, I wasn't expecting it. It hit me really hard. When he first passed, I just, I wasn't like, I was like, oh, well, he had all that bad stuff happening to him at the end. Maybe I'll find peace, and I'm happy that, even as someone who is not very religious, that maybe, maybe he will be, you know, at rest. But then I saw this. It's interesting reading old Stan soapboxes. Is there any chance of having a movie about the Avengers? Oh, man. Some of these comics, and it's like he wasn't even the creator of Deadpool, and yet they were just so respectful. And there's been talk about you know Ryan Reynolds doing the Stan Lee roles, and how oh don't worry when Stan was in the hospital, they shot a bunch of cameos or whatever beforehand. So oh man, he's just gonna keep popping up like some sort of Reaper of Death or Spirit of or Phantom of Death. And, oh man, I don't know how long it's going to take to be numb to it all. Like I said before, I'm, I'm just sad that we live in a world without Stanley. I just... I think that's where I'm going to end it all. I was looking for a Stan soapbox and some old comics that I have that uh, I bought recently, but... Yeah, Stan Lee was one in a million, and he had such a great creative team, and it wasn't just him. Um, I mean, even he wasn't the greatest writer. People would ask him, like, what does the first J and J. Jonah Jameson's name stand for? He's like, 
I never gave it much thought, Chris. I just like calling him Jolly Jonah. You know, it's like, wow, you're, 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 you're a writer and you didn't think that far ahead. Uh, tell me, Stan, how many letters do you receive every week? Far as I remember, Dan, the old soapbox, soapbox averages well over 100 each week. Besides the flood of emails, which we've never had time to tabulate. He was, he was just a great guy and I'm not going to gush over him anymore. Uh, in the final episode of the Spider-Man animated series, you called Madam Web an exotic woman. Do you have a romantic interest in her? Remember, Stan was married to the woman who did the voice of Madam Web. I was going to keep it a secret, but now that you brought it up, the gal who read the part of Madam Web was actually my all-time favorite actress. And I sure do have a romantic interest in her. You see, Di, her name is Joan Lee. She's my very own lovely wife. Man, I just wasn't ready for Stanley's cameo. And it's like they're Easter eggs of sadness now. And I hope we go, I don't want to go numb, but man. So this is what life is like after Stanley.